Well, just when you thought it was safe to step out of the tiger cage, Netflix draws us back in with more Tiger King. Yes, the breakout docu-series about the big cat trade was back last night with a reunion special called The Tiger King and I. Hey, hosted by Joel McHale. As you can see, due to the pandemic, everyone was filmed remotely from their homes. But some of the biggest revelations, Joe Exotic's ex-husband, John Finley, has new teeth. Huh? And one of the stars, Rick uh, Kirkman, revealed that Joe is actually terrified of big cats and said he only got close to a blind tiger or ones that had to be sedated. Uh, hey, cool cats and kittens. Jeff, tell me what you think about this. I got to be honest, I don't think that tigers are having any fun here. I think they're the ones no one's speaking up for. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, all this talk that Joe Exotic's going to get pardoned by Trump, yeah. that's ridiculous. I think everyone on this show is Looney Tunes. That, I mean, I'm going to tune in. Of course, you can't, I can't not watch this train wreck. But, I mean, yeah, I'm going to go watch your act probably right after this, actually. <laughs> <laughs> A man who is honest. I appreciate that. Al, how do you feel about sort of the uh, abuse that was raised allegedly by Rick Kirkman? I mean, it sort of dumbs, it kind of takes it down a notch for me. A, a notch? Yeah. <laughs> Tori, that's really a hard-hitting analysis from you. Listen, just because something is entertaining doesn't make it okay. I think we watch a lot of documentaries on strip clubs, and there's, like, this charismatic owner, and he makes people laugh, and you forget that there are, like, a lot of transgressions against the, the women that are shown, or in this case, the tigers that are shown, that kind of gets pushed to the side because the spectacle is almost kind of putting everything else in its shadow. We have to be adult here and realize that like, whatever you think about Joe Exotic, he was on drugs every second that he was on camera, mm. allegedly, allegedly, even though, come on, <laughs> you know, so like, let's, let's be honest about what we're looking at. We were looking at a drug addict that did lure young men to live with him, yeah. allegedly, as his p partners with drugs. Yeah. One of those young men lost his life. A lot of those tigers are unaccounted for. I was intrigued with the documentary as well, but let's remember to, to be adult as well. I agree, and as adults, you definitely watch a lot of documentaries about strip clubs, apparently, according to Al.